Understanding foils is sometimes confusing for beginners. There are few things you should know which we will discuss in this video. So there are two types of classification for foils. Uh, one is the general classification in which we can classify files on the basis of their characteristics. For example, image files, uh, there are few formats for them. Then documents and you can have uh, all sort of uh, document formats in canvas in structure like text, doc, docx, pdf files or powerpoint files. Then there are media files, audio and video. So this is one classification we all know. But there is also another classification in canvas in structure which is based on the usage of the files, who is using the files. So there are user files and I will show you in a minute where you can find them. In free for teacher account which we are discussing in this course you get 50 megabytes of storage for every user and these are the files such as profile picture or submitted assignments by a student user for example. Then there are course files and for course files in free for teacher canvas instructor account you get 500 megabytes and these files can be any training material file. It could be a PDF or a video file or audio file, all kind of files. And then there are group files and group files are available in institutional accounts because you have groups there and as an instructor you can be added to a group and files can also be uploaded to a group workspace. And all group members have same level of access to all group files such as uploading, publishing or restricting access. So all group members have the same level of access. This is my account and if I click on account and then files on the left hand side you will see these my files and these are my files. Also I can see these files here and their status is shown here that this file is published and my files are in uh, three different uh, folders. You can see if I click on this currently this folder is empty as you can see if I click on my profile pictures folder. I have one file in this folder and if I click on unfiled folder I also have one file in this. So these are my user files. Now let's talk about course files. These are my courses and if I click on for example my first course now I can see my course files. These are my course files and I have one folder uh, in which I have one course image if I click on this folder. I have this PNG file which is the course image file and this is one video file. I can upload file, I can add a folder. So these are my course files. Another way to see the course files is if you click on courses and then you select any course, let's say the same course. Now I got this course navigation bar and here I have files as well. If I click on these files, I will come to the same location of my course files. Now I hope you got some idea of different file types and your storage limits.